Hello viewers, welcome back to the Multi Magic channel. Hope you are all having a great time and I believe you are all following our videos and able to learn new things and able to follow our journey. And on that note, I would like to start today's video. This is about a project called Audio Raw Capture Project where you capture the audio from the mic and you can play back the same audio and you can also validate the same audio okay so let's jump into the content of it so first the agenda of today's videos will recap what we have done in the last week and i will also describe my motivation for this video and also i would like to talk about the prerequisites to set up this audio project and also i will just little bit have a quick thing what is audio raw data and then we'll go into the block diagram of this project and also i will explain a little bit on code flow and also i will also provide you the github links for this okay let's start the recap so in the last video we have gone through what is audio okay and uh, how to interpret audio as an analog sine wave and in typical real world we convert this analog signal into a digital wave to digital called with the help of a block called ADC and sampling plays a very key role in ADC and also to reconstruct that analog signal how Nyquist theorem helps us also we have seen need for audio codecs because it is in the real-time applications we cannot maintain raw data which is very large in size we definitely need a certain kind of mechanism called codec which is compress and decompress the actual raw data so there are different types of codecs uh, like mp3 aac ogg which is categorized into two things like uh, lossy and lossless algorithms okay and we have also gone through a bit of uh, ffmpeg apis required for uh, audio processing okay so this is what we have gone in the last week so let's start the motivation for today's video see actually as we as we discussed already so the reason for doing this individual projects is to ensure uh, we are building our blocks in a much more efficient way so in other terms i can say the roadmap features for these multi magic projects are already done in bits and pieces by a silicon pre startup company called axi by our mentors so as we discussed in the previous videos also this minimum knowledge we have or at least a very uh, basic knowledge we have in this media domain is because we played a different roles in that pre-startup company but we are not into the develop but now we got this opportunity now we want to collect all those uh, uh, already futures in and then give us a nice package and identify missing blocks and commit the details to the github such that it will be a great learning for us also and we will be adding a lot of depth and also we'll be gaining more knowledge okay see in this process uh, we are we are starting with this audio raw project and the prerequisites for this uh, audio raw capture project is and the platform is for windows sorry for the typo i will correct it and then the id you need is microsoft visual studio 2010 on above currently i am using microsoft visual studio 2022 and it worked for me and the third party lips we need to use port audio i will tell in the next slide why we need this port audio so for now these are the prerequisites actually our mentors have has given me a project and i just rebuilt the project in ms visit 2022 and is able to generate the output so i didn't went and go ahead and change the port audio libraries i just reused the port audio libraries whatever that were used in the earlier project which was built into the, around 2011 i believe okay so to make it very simple we have a project called capture raw audio which was already there and i just reused the project and then built the project using msvc 2022 and then i have understand the project and this helped us 
to learn a bit depth on how to capture raw audio using the port audio here we are just i want to reiterate again here we are not using ffmpeg aps we are here using port audio aps and ffmpeg flavor we will tell that in the upcoming uh, videos but for now just from the simplicity point of view and to explain to understand the concepts point of view we are using the port audio for capturing the raw audio i hope you are clear until this point so just a little bit intro about port audio so port audio is a cross platform audio io input library that provides a uniform interface to record and play audio it has a cross platform support it also support the apis are very generic it can support any audio uh, audio drivers like as io direct sound mme alsa core audio and the latency is very low it means the switching is very fast and it is open source and it can the apis are simple and straightforward and uh, self-readable but you don't need to worry about these libraries you don't need to check out the source code build from the scratch the libraries are already attached in the github along with the source code so those github links i will share at the end of this video okay so now just to for starting the project i would quickly want to recollect on one more thing what is the raw data as you know and and i mentioned in the previous slide also so see this uh this is a sine wave and this is an audio sine wave and you sample this audio sine wave and we get a digital audio and each sample is represented by certain amplitude or decibels or quantized value so this is represented in terms of binary so the collection of all the data all the samples uh, in the form of binary format is called raw data so when you open raw data it is nothing but the binaries of your actual samples okay so this is what about audio raw data so now what does this actual project does so this audio raw capture block diagram what we are doing in this project is we are capturing the data for 30 seconds for the testing purpose and we are storing the data into a buffer we are writing that captured data into a buffer and from that buffer we write it so here in this buffer all the samples will be there and that samples will be write into a file and this is raw data and you can import that raw data into a tool called audacity where you can play that raw data and then you can uh, actually listen to that okay so that way we can validate whatever we are speaking is actually what we are playing back also with the help of port audio like apis only we can do a playback okay you can simply write this sample values to the stream to the port order stream which is the output stream here so and and you can play that output stream and then you can actually validate the captured raw data so this is the input stream and this is the output stream okay and the list of apis we are using are from port order is pa open stream pa start stream pa read stream pa write stream and pa close stream so we look into that code flow now the code flow for capturing raw data so first is you just in any thing you need to initialize the underlying data structures for that you need to this use this pa initialize and later you need to get the device from which device the audio is coming from so this here in this case i'm using my logitech usb i mean the logitech headset and from here the data comes this is the input device from where we get the audio data and now you open the stream actually so please have a look at this last two parameters both are null i am not using here any callback mechanism here i am just uh during the time of capturing i just wait until the buffer is filled so i am not running it in a separate thread i am running in a single thread here so whenever my stream is open until the, until the 
uh, I mean, until that, uh, and, and until the stream is terminated, all the data is captured. It is a blocking call. For simplicity, I, I am using that. But later, I will, in, the, in the next project, we'll be showing the same thing, uh, but with a callback mechanism. For now, there is no callback mechanism. I'm just doing a block uh, as synchronous, actually. Okay. Yeah. So PA and this PA start stream is for common for to start. Okay, my, to start the audio processing. And now this is for read stream. So typically, what is happening is you initialize the data, and you detected the microphone. And from the port audio file, you, you just open the stream. It means you are ready and you uh, you started the stream. So now what happens is this PA read stream, read samples from the input stream. So that stream you started earlier. And then that stream is now getting all the sample values. Okay. And this PA read stream will read those sample values from the stream, from the stream and populate into this recorded samples. So this recorded sample is nothing but a buffer, which I have shown in the block diagram. So until 30 seconds, uh, the function will be, I mean, the API call will be blocked here. And once the streaming, the recording is completed, it goes to the next code of block. So once the recording is completed for 30 seconds, uh, or the capturing is done for 30 seconds, we close that stream actually so so far here we did very simple thing we we created a buffer called recorded samples and inside this recorded samples we are populating the samples for 30 seconds once the buffer is full or after 30 seconds we are closing the stream and to read the sample values from the microphone you need to do all these steps you need to initialize you need to get the input device you need to open the stream you need to start pushing the data i mean our start stream okay i hope everyone are clear for the list of apis from port audio needed for capturing the raw data okay so now as i mentioned the capturing part is just half done but how do you validate that whether you captured the raw data correctly i mean whatever you speak let's say if i say hello test one two three and if you want to ensure the same thing is captured in a without any background noise you need to play back the raw data so in order to play back whatever we captured you uh, using uh, in port audio we can do the same we can just simply now get the output device here in my case it is speakers or my headset and now again you can open the stream but this time this is an output stream it's not an input stream and then we will pass the corresponding pointers uh, the code i am sharing you can just go through that and then now we need to start the output stream again similar way you started the input stream and this time instead of read you need to write stream it means write samples to an output stream okay. actually here the output stream is empty there is nothing all the data is inside the buffer and means all the samples are in the buffer so from buffer we read and write it to an output stream until the entire buffer has been consumed okay so, so this is how you uh, validate so all the raw data which is stored in the this is what i'm talking about so all the raw data all are all the samples which is stored in the buffer i am writing these values into the pa stream which is the output stream okay and then i am just since i already started the stream it keeps on playing where it comes to the capturing part this is the this is we for 30 seconds we capture the input stream which is coming from mic the data coming from mic and then that stream details we are writing it into the buffer or we can say we are pa read means we are reading from the device and writing into the populating the buffer okay so i hope i am clear on the terminologies how do you 
capture the raw data how do you validate the raw data and here again uh, one more mechanism where you can validate the raw data using audacity so if you download audacity tool it is free you can just uh, go to the explorer and file import raw data you can import this raw data and then yeah and then you can just play play it back so you'll be whatever you speak in that 30 seconds or whatever audio you have captured in that 30 seconds that should be played back properly so this is simply how you capture the audio from the mic or from any in input device like speakers and how do you play back it and so this is the first step in learning any audio related basics so we have gone through what is audio what is raw audio and everything we have gone through and uh, yeah, I hope you are clear on all those terminologies. If not, please go through the previous video and today's video. And finally, this particular raw audio capture project is all is now in this particular GitHub link. So you can go ahead and download it. Whatever code flow I have explained, you can map it and then you can easily understand it and play it. So just for demo, just for simplicity, I will just show it here. So this is the project I am discussing about. So I already built it and the uh, build is successful. And then you can uh, capture the raw data here. So uh, after running, uh, I already captured the raw data and I'm able to play it back. And also I am kind, I also kind of uh, validated using the Audacity here. Okay, so I hope you can play around with this code and then you can if you have any doubts and queries you can definitely contact us okay and i yeah and in the comment section i will mention the uh, github links again so you can go ahead and download the project and get your hand i mean yeah you can get your uh, i mean hands on on that particular code okay so hope you had very good time with, in this video and i will be coming up with a one more short video and uh, about how to read the raw capture from the file and how to encode it here we'll be seeing about the callback mechanism and the other things okay thank you bye bye take care